I have my friends who wants to look at some fossils, some church, uh, unknown stuff, unknown agates, pet wood, a few other, no crawlers, no crawlers today. We got a lot of other stuff though. Let's get into it and take a look. All right, got a nice little solid death plate here. Lots of stuff on it. Lots of crying oils and other things. I don't know what that was, but pretty cool looking. This one has a piece of horn coral sticking out of it. Another good one. I like it. Another piece of coral. That one I think will look good polished. It's a beauty too. Definitely a good pile, of, perfect shape for polish. Another coral. Piece of horn coral. These were all parking lot finds. A couple of them may have come from the river, but most of them are parking lot finds. I'm just looking at this. I have a lot of coral out of there. I didn't realize I had that much coral, but that's a beautiful piece there. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a good polish. Another nice one. A little dead plate. This on the back side, it's kind of, I guess it's on a piece of regular horse rock or something. Maybe it's on the dead plate, I don't know. Can't figure it out. Another cool one, perfect shape for polishing. I think I can make this one into a worry stone, because it's perfectly shaped. I already have one of them I sold it a while back. I have a couple of them, but I sold one of them. But yeah, I think that'll be a perfect worry stone. That was pretty cool. I got this red one. I think this one I'm gonna try and polish. I don't know if I have a, a polish, a big polished red one like this. But that's pretty cool looking. Another one could be a worry stone, I think. All right, y'all want to look at some pet wood? I'm pretty sure this is pet wood. Looks like it's got the dot pattern on it like that. I don't know. It could be a faker, but I think that's pet wood. This one probably will be a cool looking pile. It's pretty cool little piece here. Really agitized. Heavy, heavy. It's a nice dark piece here. It's an odd shape piece, but pretty cool looking. It might be a good policy too, though. That's an odd piece. It's a crazy piece here. This is probably my favorite piece out of the group here. Almost look like I got some Carnegie in it. Probably just agitized. That's cool looking. I think these two possibly could be a sponge, some type of sponge or something like that. Not positive, but definitely looks like it. 
I think this could be an odd Jasper. I'm not sure, but man, this thing is crazy. I don't know if I should cut it open or just polish it like that. Uh, let me know what y'all think on this one. I think it's the only piece of Jasper I have in here. But that is cool looking. Don't know what that is. This is an odd one. I have no idea. I've never found anything like this out there in, uh, in the gravel before. I have no idea what this is, but man, that is cool one. Huh? The color on that thing is crazy. It's orangish. I guess the color. I don't know, man. This thing is cool, though. I don't know whether to polish it or do what. Just leave it like that. I don't know. Never seen anything like this before. But it's cool. And I want to look at one of my favorite rocks, some Louisiana church, Mississippi church, whatever it is. I right, got some pieces I really like here. These will be really good looking pilots. That's cool. Yeah, I like that one. A couple of little pieces with a lot of banding on it. Look at this thing here. That would have been whole or a little bigger. That would have been nice, man. Still going to polish good, though. This is a darker one. Well, that's pretty cool. Another odd piece. And again, I'm not sure, guaranteeing all these are church, but they, they kind of look a lot like it, man. Look at this thing. That is cool. Black. Never seen no black in them before. Kind of a weird pattern. I don't think this one's church. Maybe not, but. Yeah. This one has crazy pattern on it. That is nice. I like it. Not sure on this one, but it's pretty cool. Wouldn't have that grass on it. Huh? This one really is cool. Those colors might even change to gold and uh, brown. That's pretty cool though. I like it. This one here was one of my favorite pieces I have found, but the next two maybe might be even better than, uh, I like better than this one, but this is pretty cool. That's a cool looking rock. I like it. And this one here, it may not be church, but it's another one with the black in it. So I don't know what this is or where it comes from. But it was in that last bit of gravel I went through. It was a couple of them like this. This is the best one, definitely. And that black, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. I like it. But the other one, the next one is even crazy, I think. This is kind of just looks like a regular rock for a while. And it may be, I don't know. But it just, it definitely gets better. It's got a red bottom on it. I don't know what this is, but that's a cool looking rock. I don't think I'll be able to polish it because that red doesn't look too thin, I mean too thick, but it's definitely a red, some kind of red on there. That's cool. 
just got to show you the green. The only green one I found probably in 20 or 30 hours of, of rock hunting. We don't get much green down here. This is an odd piece. Don't know what it is. But it is cool. That's all I know. Look at that. That is cool. Do not know. But I like it. I've seen a few of these out there. It's got a odd snakeskin looking pattern on it almost, but I don't know. I want to see what's inside of it. Probably nothing, but it'll be a good, I don't know. It looks like it might have something right there, but it'll be a good stud of dud rock, I think. But it's got a weird pattern to it. This is a little geo. This is another rock wall guy. We're going to have some um, landscape and stutter does, but it looks like it's got something inside of it. And this one here is definitely getting cut. I don't know why, but it's been telling me whenever since I've seen it to cut me open. So, and it shows nothing on the outside, no fraction, no, no way you could see into it or anything, but it, it definitely wants to be cut open. So we're going to do that on stutter dud. And this is the colored one, but usually have the bright red or the bright gold color on the inside of them. So we're going to cut this one open and see which one it is. We've got some stutter dud stuff right here. And this one here, I don't think it's anything, but it's the only rock this shape and about 100 tons of rocks that I've been through. So I had to pick it up. But it kind of looks funny right there, but we'll slice it a couple times. And um, again, it'll be a good stutter dud rock. I have no clue, but don't think it's anything, but we'll find out. Another stutter dutter. Look at this thing here. Doesn't look like much, but it's kind of saying it's got something inside of it right there. Or it could have something inside of it, so we're going to check it out. All right, we're going to finish this video up with a few unknown agates. This is not Crowley's, but they were found in the landscaping rock. Definitely an agate. Don't know what kind, but it's pretty cool, whatever it is. I like the color on it. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what that is. This one here, if it's laying this way, just lay like a regular rock. You ain't gonna pick that one up. But if it's laying this way, you might. That's a pretty cool little wagon right there. Got it in a couple spots. I don't know. I like it, though. Again, if this rock is sitting like this, would y'all pick it up? Probably not, huh? It's sitting like this. Would y'all pick it up? <laughs> that is cool. But that's, the, that's not the good side, though. But that's cool. I think that's the good side. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know what kind of agate that is. It's not a Crowley. But if anybody's got a thought on it, let me know. 